Lido Bay is the most forgotten town in GTA Online because it is far from downtown Los Santos. But in this series, I will be purchasing every property in Lido Bay to bring this town to prosperity. So without further ado, let's jump into it. So welcome back to King of Lido Bay. We're on episode number six. And to everyone that is watching this on the day this video is coming out, happy Halloween. Today is October 31st for y'all. So yeah, happy Halloween to everyone. Hopefully everyone is having a fun Halloween a fun and safe Halloween. But for me, it is Saturday before Halloween. So it's what, five days before, something like that. So yeah, since it's Halloween for y'all today, I want to do a lot of Halloween stuff in this video. But also there's going to be a way bigger overarching goal for this episode. And that is to purchase our next business. Two episodes ago, we went out and purchased the bail office. And last episode, we did a lot with the bail office. We arrested a ton of people. I think we arrested nine. We arrested nine very, very very bad people. Bad people for the town of Polito Bay. They've done some horrible crimes, but luckily we put them behind bars. But currently right now we're sitting on $820,000. So yeah, I'm going to show you what is the business I am going to purchase next. Just in case if you're just tuning in, currently right now I am standing inside of my MC clubhouse right here, the Polito Bay clubhouse. And then two episodes ago, we came over here and we purchased the bail office. But now we need to purchase our next business. And our next business that we're going to purchase is actually going to be the Polito Forest Bunker. And crazy enough, this isn't that expensive. At least this starting price. The starting price is going to be at $1,165,000. So yeah, we need to make like just over $300,000 this episode, which isn't bad at all. So yeah, we're definitely going to be making a little more than that. And I think we're going to do the same thing as I did with the bail office. I am going to just purchase this stock. And the overall goal for this series is to absolutely max out everything in this series. So like by the end of this series, instead of having the cheapest bunker style, for example, I want the most expensive bunker style, even though it has nothing to do with, you know, actually making money or like efficiency, anything like that. We just need to set an example for the town of Polito Bay. But anyways, but for right now, we just need to get our hands on money. That's essentially what I'm trying to do here. I'm, pr I'm trying to save as much money as possible, even though this would be a little bit beneficial, even though everything I own is in Polito Bay, the great town of Polito Bay, the once forgotten town, but I came in and saved the day town of Polito Bay. Shooting range, I will get that later on, but I'm not getting it right now. Gun locker, once again, not getting it right now. Transportation, yeah, once again, not getting it right now. The only thing that really would like matter would be personal quarters. Like this is something that could actually like make our life a little more efficient. Efficient, but as far as like making money, you don't directly make money just because you have a personal quarters. But once you actually do purchase the bunker, there are some upgrades that you can purchase within like the computer to actually sell off all your product from inside your bunker. But we'll get into that hopefully next episode. Well, I'll show you all that. And I think once we get the bunker, I want to try to upgrade the bunker through the computer to sell everything off. I'll explain all that next episode. But uh, yeah, that's kind of my overarching goal. But anyways, yeah, the bunker right here is $1,165,000. We need to make a little bit more than $300,000 this episode, which shouldn't be that much of an issue. But anyways, I want to get started with actually something that's going to be a little bit different for this series. It's just going to be Halloween theme because there, because we are in the event week where there's a lot of Halloween stuff going on. Now, as being the king of Polito Bay, I am very in tune with everything that's going on in Polito Bay. And one thing I did hear was that someone actually dropped off a ton of jack o -lanterns lanterns which is a little bit interesting but like you know you think oh jack-o-lanterns that's cool right I mean, eh. see whoever put these jack-o-lanterns down they could either do two things to you it could be something good or something bad you know it's a little interesting i don't i don't know why they're trying to do that to the town of Polito bay so like you know let's just say someone innocently it's like oh look look a cute jack-o-lantern or whatever like let's just say something bad happens they, then they jack-o-lantern explodes and then that person unfortunately dies i mean that's horrible that's horrible so i gotta clean it i gotta clean up all these jack-o-lanterns I have to clean up all these jack-o'-lanterns immediately. So yeah, we're going to be starting out today's episode with that. Now, rumor has it that there's actually 200 jack-o'-lanterns across all of San Andreas. But there's actually exactly 10. There's exactly 10 of them in the area of Polito Bay. So I need to go around and clean these up because, you know, I, I don't, we don't need any weird catastrophes, anything like that happening to the good people of Polito Bay, the good blue collar working class people of Polito Bay. So yeah, as a good leader, I will clean that up. Now I do have my suspicions of who's done this. And I, I it just seems something like the old regime would do. You know, the old regime, they just neglected Polito Bay. And now I came in and all of a sudden, 
they're they're a little jealous. So I am suspecting that they're the ones that have been flying the UFOs around the map. And now I think they've put down jack-o'-lanterns that could accidentally blow up, shock you, or other things. Okay, but the first location of this jack-o'-lantern is somewhere over here. Oh, here's a jack-o'-lantern right here. Okay, let's park the car a little bit far away so we make sure... That just in case we blow up, that doesn't blow up. And it looks a little friendly. It looks kind of cute. Like, oh, ha, 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 Halloween season. So there we go. What happened? See, look at this. I, I get shocked. Like, just imagine. Just imagine if that was a good, hardworking Polito Bay citizen that did that. All right, here we go. Here's the next jack-o'-lantern right here. Oh, what is happening? It's explosion. Uh-oh. Oh, I think there's people on the roof of that building. I think there's two people on the roof of that building. Uh, let's... Oh, no, they're good. They're good. They're scared for their lives, but they're good. Okay. Whew. Good thing y'all didn't pick that up. I... Uh, okay. Whew. You are so welcome, man. Oh, my gosh. Y'all are so welcome. See, now, this one's messed up. This one's messed up. They, this Whoever did this, they put it at our church. Wait, this church is closed on Sunday? It, shouldn't you have service on Sunday? I don't know. I, I, gotta, I gotta talk to the reverend about that. But anyways, what do we got here? Jeez, man, dude, someone, like, just imagine, someone on Sunday is trying to go to church, and they're like, oh, look, a cool jack-o'-lantern. They pick it up, and they get shocked. The next jack-o'-lantern right here. All right, for that jack-o'-lantern, we actually got $4,200, which, I mean, ha, 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 sure, sure. All right, here we go. Here's the next one. What do we get this time? Snacks. We got snacks. Okay, okay, yeah. Just because I said they were all bad, now they're turning good. Ha ha, thank you. All right, so we're here at the Dream View Motel, and there's a jack-o'-lantern right here. I mean, like, come on. Now we're really messing with the people that are just trying to stay at Polito Bay for a little vacation. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? And then um, they're drugging. Are you kidding me? They're drugging. I, I'm, like, I am absolutely just off my rocker right now. <laughs> Okay, so we're here at the Blaine County Savings Bank, our flagship bank here in Polito Bay. These are good, hardworking people of Polito Bay. They, they do a good job here. But anyways, yeah, they, they're really trying to attack their business. Like, come on, man. Like, when it, when is enough enough? Anyways, let me just take care of this. Yep, just get shocked. All right, here we go. This is the eighth one on a unfortunately abandoned lot here in Polito Bay. I need to take care of this at some point, but uh, luckily we get health and armor. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the second to last one is going to be right here. What are we getting from this? This is utterly disgusting. You gotta be kidding me. This is utterly disgusting. They forced me to be a pig. What? How am I gonna leave the town of Polito Bay as a pig? Oh my gosh. Ran into a car. Oops. Yeah, now, th yeah, this this will just turn the Polito Bay back into the state of anarchy if I stay like this. So, yeah, we, we need to get out of that. All right, and here is the last location of the jack-o'-lantern. All right, so let's pick up this jack-o'-lantern. Oh, what do we... Okay, we got $2,700, but we also got $50,000. Okay, whew. We got $50,000 for cleaning up the town of Polito Bay. I mean, yeah, as you can see, like, that, that could have been really, really bad. It was just a good, hard-working person in Polito Bay was trying to come back from home after a hard day's work and they pick up a jack-o'-lantern trying to clean up their beautiful town and then they, they just explode. It's, it's horrible. It's horrible. But anyways, took care of that. No problem. So now we're sitting on $877,000, which is nice. I need to make now less than $300,000. So we can actually purchase the bunker. Next thing we need to do, though, is we need to go over to photograph the UFO. We need to keep tabs on the UFO. Now, I have been slacking a little bit, I will have to admit. Okay, there you go. You can see the UFO in the distance, kind of in the Sandy Shores area. This is, it's right over top of the, the power station right here. But yeah, I mean, obviously, this started out in Polito Bay. This is a little bit concerning to me. I still think this is a part of the old regime trying to get back at us. So let's take a photo of that. There we go. Okay. So that is UFO number 12. I missed number one, but I got two, three, four, five. I missed six. Got, I did photograph seven. I missed eight. Photographed number nine that I missed out on 10 and 11. But then I just photographed number 12. Now, since I am the king of Polito Bay, I have been in contact with the other leaders in the area surrounding. And I think we've all come to the agreement that some of those UFO locations are gonna come back into play over the next three days. So some of those UFO locations that we've missed, we will get another opportunity to 
really take a good look at it. So I won't be recording this tomorrow or Monday, but off camera, I need to go back and photograph some of those UFOs. And then Tuesday, we'll have another day of just photographing, catching back up with some of the UFOs I missed. But then we're all projecting that Wednesday and Thursday, there is going to be a ton of UFOs, a ton, an absolute ton of UFOs. They're all going to try to push their way south towards downtown Los Santos. But yeah, it still concerns us because it did start around Polito Bay in our waters. It's kind of making its way down to downtown Los Santos. So yeah, we, we're going to be we're going to be keeping our eye out on that. And that'll be in the upcoming episodes. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? I was doing something. I was doing something. All right. All right. I was doing I was getting prepared for something else Halloween related. But there's a thing right here. Okay, this is, what is this? This is the sack slasher, the, I'm gonna call him the hash slinging slasher. All right, this is the hash slinging slasher right here. Oh, I wanted to see if he'd actually get run over. Okay, you're ruining the shot truck. I think as a courageous leader, I, I think I'm just gonna go fist. I'm gonna go with my fist. I'm gonna show him how it's done. All right, let me, let me get some set up. All right, come here, hash slinging slasher. Bop, yeah, what's up, what's up? Yeah, 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 you wanna come here? You wanna come here haunt the town of Polito Bay? Huh? 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 What is your problem? What is your problem? You have problems? You need... I was doing so good. I, I don't know. Uh, I do wanna mess around with the possessed animals that- Oh! Oh, I'm looking at the map though. Oh, we have possessed pugs? Are you kidding me? Yeah, we have possessed boars. That makes sense with the Mount Chiliad and then- uh, we go a little bit more towards the Polito Bay Forest. We have the possessed deer. That makes sense. But I'm a little shocked there's really no possessed mountain lions that close by. Interesting. Okay. But I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll deal with that later. And then obviously, as you saw, we had the Hashlinging Slasher along with the Phantom Car. The Phantom Car is also supposed to spawn in. Yeah, I think the Phantom Car is kind of like a 50-50 shot between getting the Phantom Car and then the Sack Slasher, or as I like to call them, the Hashlinging Slasher. But anyways, yeah, it's daytime. You really won't be messing around with that any longer, at least at the moment. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and try to make some money. Uh, let's see if we've gotten the email for the LS tour board for today. Um, yes, we have. Let's see. What animals do we have to get today? Let me do this during the daytime. Boar, poodle, chicken hawk. That sucks. That absolutely sucks. You know, I can find a possessed boar if you want. I wonder if they would actually count that. I, I don't really want to mess around with that because I want to focus on trying to get a boar. Yeah, we got this one done pretty easily. There we go. Poodle has been photographed. Now let's go find a chicken hawk. Apparently, there's a chicken hawk that's supposed to spawn in right in here somewhere. Oh, there it is. It, oh my gosh, this, this that thing was incredibly accurate. It was right there. They weren't even calculating that it'd be flying. I think I got too close to it, and then it just started trying to fly away. But yeah, uh, the, the photo that I have, it's just supposed to be just sitting right there, right on that hill. I think I got too close to it, and it started flying away, but that was accurate. That was 100% accurate. Way to go. Maybe I went bragging on that website a little too early. Nah, it's here. Yeah, there you are. All right, yeah. Just chill out on the train tracks for a second. And that is $100,000 in total right there. So now we're sitting on $1,022,000. Wait, what? I just looked at the, my payment. How did our payment go down? I don't even, I haven't even wrecked. I don't even know what happened. I drive, I drove on the train tracks, but I, I didn't wreck this time because I actually had a good bike. I, this, this is a Shinobi, but yeah, this customer is going to be pissed. Look, I am sorry. I am so sorry, guy. Dude, why are we glitching again? Come on, man. Come on, game. Like, why are we glitching through the ground? What are we on? We in quicksand? Idiots. Well, anyways, we made $50,000 again, which is always a good thing, but, uh... What the? What the? What in the world? It's daytime! Get away, get away, get away, get away. Thank you. All right. It's daytime. Let me get into water. I, luckily, once again, we're really close to water. It's daytime. It is... Almost 8 a.m. in the morning. I thought that only spawned in at night. I'm literally reading it right here. Phantom car may appear anywhere on the map between 9 p.m. and 5 a.m. It is 8 a.m. Anyways, let's, let's go try to do some more bales again. Let's go back to our bail office. 
I'll do one bounty. I'll do one bounty that I haven't done yet. Oh, I just looked this up. I'm finding even more information. So the Sack Slasher, it only spawns in between 1 and 6 a.m. in game. Uh, let me go to another location. Let's go to Clown location. All right, and there we go. It is 6 o'clock in game, 6 o'clock in the morning. And as you can see, I'm shaking my head right now. It's not a good sign. That means I'm very disappointed. That means I need a handwritten apology from Rockstar Games. By the way, get your handwritten apology merch at Dr. Crush YT. Dot com. We had, we had like, what, this is our fourth night now at this spot? Like, the first two nights, like, we had the Hashlinging Slasher, and then we had, we had the Phantom Car, and then the night before last, and the, yeah, the night before last, we had nothing, and then this night, we had nothing. I, I, it's so inconsistent. I hate the inconsistency. It, it, it's just so annoying. I, it's annoying to me how I just can't control any of it, you know? But I guess it does make it, like, a little bit more like exciting when it does happen but my goodness if you're trying to hunt for it trying to hunt hunt it down to try to do it then it is it's a little annoying we're almost at the amount of money we need to actually buy the bunker though yeah like i said that oh, i'm not i'm not attempting any of that halloween stuff anymore now the next two episodes uh the possessed animals actually all of it will still be in play so like maybe i can accidentally stumble upon it but i'm not going out of my way to do it but yeah now it's time for us to actually go after our main target the primary target the high-end target um oh yeah now we have different people we have bill dog and that's the last dog we need to get in ricky g but we're not going after any of these guys we're gonna close out this episode by going after leroy o'neill so yeah let's go after leroy o'neill let's see what he's done to the town of Polito bay all right here we go most wanted leroy o'neill uh, so yeah, the bounty value is $127,000. I think that's the exact same, uh, dollar amount as, uh, the last one that we did. Um, okay, so since we're doing an O'Neill brother, um, it's not all the way in the city. So that's good for us in Polito Bay, but it is still a three and a half mile drive. So let me just drive on over there. All right, so Jeanette just messaged me or just told us that Leroy O'Neill, uh, actually hasn't done a ton of things wrong we're getting Leroy O'Neill so we can take down at least one of the O'Neill brothers I forgot who we went after last episode but he actually had a pretty interesting story it was a funny story he put up he took out a loan to put a parlay on baseball and he and he wanted to say that the Corkers were going to win the World Series and well the Corkers they're not a real team so obviously they're not winning the World Series as of this recording the Dodgers are winning the series one nothing gosh I hope the Dodgers win the World Series not that I even like the Dodgers it's just yeah Yankees suck. Um, yeah, that'll piss off a lot of people. But anyways, <laughs> we need to go to the abandoned motel and go get this guy that really has no backstory to him. Uh, that's the main point. This guy has no story other than he's just an O'Neill brother. That's it. That's pretty much it. That's the only reason why we're going after him. Like, what a lame story. Okay, search the motel for Leroy O'Neill. I don't know why you're at an abandoned motel unless you're doing illegal stuff. But I can't even find you. Okay, I ran past these, like, rooms, but I didn't even look, like, in him. Am I really gonna have to just look in every individual room that I can? I found him, or I found something. What? Really? We got outsmarted. We got outsmarted by the O'Neill brothers. Find a way out of the basement. Okay, this is kind of cool. I got stripped! Ew! Gross! Uh Y'all are disgusting. Grab the pool key. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Destroy the fuse box. Okay. This is pretty interesting. I gotta give it to him. I gotta give it to him. Open the gate. Collect my phone. Oh, oh, no. 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 Don't let him kill you. Okay, good. I need to eat snacks. That's embarrassing. I actually ate shots from that guy. Give me a baseball bat. No. 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 Batter up. Batter up. Good hit. That was that was a good hit. Oh, retrieve my clothes. That's good. Yeah, I did. Thank you. I would rather, uh, yeah, yeah, put my cool outfit on. Thank you. Good. Aha! I got methodology. Steal the methodology for cash reward if the target is delivered successfully. Aha! I'm so smart. I'm so smart. This is the first time I've done this. I have never done this before. All right, so yeah, we absolutely looted the heck out of this place. There's nothing else we can steal, so your weapons have been stashed nearby. Where my ammo? Oh. Is that everything? Oh, that is everything. Okay, well. Okay, well, everyone's this way, so I'm assuming Leroy is somewhere over here. I still don't even know what Leroy did in Polito Bay. No! No! You come on! Why are you come on? What is wrong with you, Leroy? All right, let's try this again. Um, yeah, the reason I'm starting over, I mean, we could have still continued, 
But as you can see right now, the, the bounty value is $127,000. But if we actually kill Leroy, like how I did last time, then the value will go down 75%. That value was like, what, 38,000 something? That's just a, that's like $100,000 you're just leaving left on the table. So yeah. Okay, we're back at the same spot. So I can just shoot the door like that, right? Yep. Okay. Now I'm gonna go over here. I'm gonna grab all of my ammo and stuff. Very nice. Okay, now people are gonna try to come after me. There's two people right there. There's a lot of people. Is Leroy this way? Wait, why'd y'all go this way now? What the heck? Okay, the sun's like in my eyes. I, there's like a little bit of a glare because I don't want to go haywire like last time. I didn't even go that haywire. Oh wait, maybe he was exactly over here. Oh, he was definitely this way last time, but there's just so many enemies there. But I'll go this way and see what's up. Oh no, he's not here. <laughs> Okay, we're in new charted territories for sure. I mean, like I said, I'm gonna be very cautious on shooting. So I'm only gonna like waste a like single bullet. Okay, he could be over here. I found the tar No, I haven't. I have not found the target. I don't know where he's at. The game is lying to me. I, I, maybe I aimed close, but I personally am not like, all right, that's him. Oh, okay, he's here. All right, all right now he's on the map. No. No. Yep, there you go. Strip me down, you weirdos. All right, so now I gotta go to the bail office, and that should be it. All right, there we go. We've made it to the bail office. Here you go, Leroy. Welcome to your new home. And there we go, Leroy. O'Neal has been secured. Additional take of only 5,000. I thought that would have been more. Oh, uh, we upgraded to a different level. I don't even know what level now. Yep, there you go. Leroy, you idiot. All right, so there we go. We just went ahead and got Leroy, and we got an extra $25,000 for a first-time bonus for getting Leroy. But we also have to wait for the $127,000 to Leroy's name to actually be transferred to us. But anyways, we're sitting on $1,155,000, then plus that $127,000 that will get to us at some point. Yeah, but with Leroy and that money coming in at some point, we now have enough money to purchase the bunker. So at the beginning of next episode, we'll go ahead and purchase the bunker. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications so you don't get to miss out on any of the King of Polito Bay series. Make sure you check out this video right here if you want to see me try to kill everyone during the Cayo Perico heist in GTA Online.